What's up, Aquarius? Welcome to Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. We're getting ready to get into your energy. See what secrets. Wow, that card wants to come out of my hand. Like I noticed lately when I get in your energy, the cards start flying out. So there is either a disruptive energy. Yeah, you're the only one that this is happening to. The hair fent death and the eight of pentacles. Out of all the readings I did tonight, yeah, your reading is the first one to have cards just flying out. But um, let's go ahead and get into this, this energy. See the message Beloved has for you. You're very intuitive right now, I see. What's going on with Aquarius? Oh, that's why. The Knight of Wands is in the picture. <laughs> Calls in all kind of havoc and, and stuff in your life. Oh my goodness. So the five of wands, the knight of wands, the three of cups, the king of wands, <clears throat> the king of pentacles. Oh wow. The king of wands. <laughs> Judgment. The Ace of Swords. The Princess of Wands. Wow, it's a lot of people on the table. Um, where should we start? Let's start with this Knight of Wands that took over this reading right away. <clears throat> so, there was this person in your life that loved, loved how you accepted the games they played. They loved to see you hurt. They loved to see you chase them. They loved to see you call their phone, text them, and not respond. It was like the biggest ego boost ever because a woman or man like Aquarius, damn, why they don't know their worth. And this is what was in this person's head. So whoever you are as an Aquarius male or female, they've always seen you as more than probably you may have known. Um, you've always been very attractive, a go-getter, creative, all that stuff to them. And like they knew they couldn't measure up with you. And when you know you can measure up with someone or that you... I hate to like do little me's and big you's, but this is how they were viewing it. I need to bring you down to my level. So they did that through the mind games, the manipulations, because why can't you see Aquarius what I see? I'm not shit. And you can't see it because the way that I look on the outside doesn't doesn't like represent who I am on the inside. <clears throat> I love a variety of people because I am so insecure with myself. I don't know how to be alone because I'm afraid of being alone. I felt alone when I was younger. And now that I'm grown, I'm able to make other people feel that same sense of loneliness. And that's where I get my my ego from. That's where I gain my pride from, is from hurting others. So Aquarius, why can't you see how beautiful you are, how sexy and attractive? And why can't you see that I'm not good for you, that I'm not anything? I don't feel inside like I'm worthy of you. I can't settle down with you. What do I have to offer you? What do I have to give you? What do, what can I bring into your life that you don't already have? You make me feel small. And since you can't see who I truly am and you only see my exterior, this is all I have to give you. I can only give you 
who I am and that's shit. I feel like shit in the inside. When I go to sleep at night, I know that I can do better in my life, but I don't want to because people owe me for all the stuff that I had to endure in my childhood. Everybody around me is going to pay for what I did or for what they did. So <clears throat> I'm going to put you in this circle of all the other people that's, that's higher vibrational than me that I feel like I don't deserve, but yet they like me and they boost my ego. I know I'm a narcissist. I know it. But I will never let you know that I know this. I play with people's hearts and I break people's hearts. And then I leave. This is what I do. Don't you see me? So with all that being said, Aquarius, about this person, because whatever, they wanted to just, whew, like I said, take over the reading because they're narcissistic. Okay, it's about them. You see, they jumped out of the cars. This is this is the energy that was jumping out of the cars. Remember I said, and I haven't had too many narcissistic readings up until this point. But um, this is what they wanted you to know. I see that you have someone either that's coming in or that has came in that this person is going to have a problem with. And what's crazy about that is they know they don't measure up to this person. And the only reason why they're showing up as this king of wands is because the knight of wands was already used. So this king of pentacles that's either entering your life or in your life. This is someone that's grown up spiritually. This is a spiritual energy. This is someone who knows God, is a lover of God, believes in morality, total opposite of this narcissist. This person, I mean, after listening to what the narcissist had to say, um, this person is handsome, but I don't feel like that's what you're going to be attracted to. I feel like you are going to be attracted to this person's reserved demeanor. They're not going to come off as a player or flirtatious or something. This is going to be someone who's more serious. Someone who knows what they want and they demand respect of their relationships. Um, they're not the type to cheat. So they won't want you cheating on them because they wouldn't cheat on you. They got they got morality. Right? But I see you got two doors. Two doors. That's open or opening for you. <clears throat> one is smoke and mirrors. And one is an actual door. If you go to the door that's smoke and mirrors, you're going to bump your head and, and shatter the glass and you're going to end up shattered. If you go to the actual door, you'll be able to walk through, right? Beloved is getting ready to reveal something to you with this Ace of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like this is something that you waited for a long time for Beloved to reveal. And for some reason... Beloved is getting ready to reveal it to you now at this time. I don't feel like you would would have been ready for it prior. Because a gift given too soon is a curse. Y'all people after, um, let me see. Sagittarius, Capricorn, and you. Y'all need to talk to these people. Every time I get in these three energies, my throat is just disrupted. I can get through everybody else fine. Once I get to um, um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Aquarius, off the chain. So these are individuals that 
want to talk or you have something left unsaid. But whatever it is, is that beloved is getting ready to reveal to you, beloved is getting ready to reveal it in a feminine way. I don't know why that's important to know. But it's going to be something that sets you free. Something that makes you feel alive again. Something that makes you glow again and like feel light, right? <clears throat> you may have been carrying around this heaviness for this night. Like this night just made a confession. Like I said, they wanted to take over the reading from the gate. But they just made a confession to you, Aquarius. I don't know if... This feminine energy, beloved, is talking about is maybe me speaking to you through, uh, or the narcissist speaking to you through me, and letting you know what they're about and who they are, and why the situation has went the way it's went. But I'm looking at this Ace of Swords, and I've never seen nails on it before, so I was drawn to that. But um, whatever is being revealed to you. Beloved is showing you in a feminine way, a more softer, loving way. Okay. So, Beloved, what else does Aquarius need to know, please? Boat. When you move on, when you go move away from this person, money, property, through an inheritance, winning, or windfall. A door will open for you that's if you walk through the door right not if you go towards the smoking mirrors this is smoking mirrors like I said they are only showing up as a king of wands looking at that a king of Pentacles because the knight of wands was used what else you will be taken care of in difficult times beloved is with you has always been with you what beloved is, is also hoping is that you learn your lesson about um, people and relationships and your value and your work. Wall, a misunderstanding. See, this is what was going on previously. Um, for some reason, there was... There was this wall that was keeping you from understanding the messages that Beloved was sending to you. Or maybe this was the blockage or whatever. But now Beloved is saying use that wall to keep this person out of your life. They've already expressed to you who they are. Exactly. Trouble. Trouble accusations. They're trouble. You do not want to be back in this frying pan dealing with this energy. What else? Throne. Position of authority. This throne energy. This is beloved. Saying put me in my right place. Put me first in your life. Don't ever make a human higher than me spear heartache over what you no longer have allow this wound to heal this wasn't love according to what they just said this wasn't love so allow this wound to heal. You're better than that. Mice. Discord among family and friends. You see how it fell on them? Did you see how it fell on them? That's their energy. This is what they do. They confessed. And for this card to fall on them? Yeah. You know what it is, Aquarius. One more, please. I love it. Beloved, every time I be like, one more, please, Bob. It's like, no, I got more for you. Here's. And this is beautiful. Someone new entering your life 
and great happiness. See what I mean? Beloved, seeing what was going on. That's not why beloved is like, let your heart heal. Let this person go. But they're narcissistic abuse cycle. Narcissistic abuse for you guys that don't know, it starts with the love bombing. Then it's the ideation, putting you on a pedestal. Then it's the degrading you and discarding you. And as they are discarding you, they're love bombing someone else. And they go through the cycle. And then someone else enters. And they go through the cycle. And before you know, you are wrapped up in this narcissistic abuse where they get back to you when they're discarding someone else. And then, you understand what I'm saying? But yeah. <clears throat> Either way, Aquarius, that's the message I have for you. I'm going to warm my tea up. Um, I thank you guys so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and so take care.